in, send it in. If you have the one two months prior to that with the top 50 males, send that in. We will get however we have, we'll have it signed. But we have to have the material in hand by 48 hours before the convention. So if you need signed for big events, it has to be in our hands by March 2nd. It will be mailed out the Monday or Tuesday after the convention. If you want it for WrestleCon, it has to be in our hand by the 25th of March. Remember, we have to fly down there. So anything we get after we leave, not going to be with us. A lot of the stuff we'll be mailing down in advance. If you want stuff for the Twisted Sisters, you have until now, until the 27th of January to get it to us so we can have it mailed back to you before they leave on January 29th. Can't stress this enough. We haven't had issues in the past of people sending in things after the point, but you have to cover all bases. So make sure you get that stuff in the mail. You allow time to get through the mail, and it'll get here. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Should we talk a little WWE? Or should we go right into? Uh, let's go into the uh, the Dammy Awards. Let me get a <clears throat> drink of water here. Ah, all righty. Here we go. Here we go. The finalists. For the 2016 Dammy Awards. We'll read the categories and the finalists. And then we'll go back and announce the winners. Number one. The Wrestling Promotion of the Year. The Defending Champs Warriors of Wrestling. That's a program that we have been uh, a part of more than any wrestling promotion in 2016. 2017 might be a little bit different, I can tell you that, because we have a lot of uh, invites out there of us wanting to join them for wrestling and covering their product. Pro Wrestling Magic and D2W Wrestling. There's your three finalists for 2016. The wrestling Best Wrestling Promoter. Obviously, we do not include ourselves in this category but the best wrestling promoter booking agent finalists last year's champion RDP promotions ESS promotions and real pro wrestling third best female indie wrestler finalists Diana Parazzo Amber O'Neill last year's defending champion Thunder Rosa and Caitlin Diamond. Best Male Wrestler of the Year. The finalists, Joey Janella. Last year's winner, James Rude Boy Riley. Kyle the Beast Winant. And Darius Carter. We already announced our winner of the Babe of the Year tournament. That went to Thunder Rosa. As she knocked off Allie by two votes in the finals. <clears throat> Number six, the WTF. Did I just see moment of the year? Finalists, Joey Janella during a GCW show. Jumping off a platform through a truck that was on fire and full of glass tubes. The Warriors of Wrestling, entire locker room emptying in a Civil War fashion. And Frankie Flo turns his back on Jersey Devil and abandons D2W. Interview of the Year, finalists, Big Van Vader, Aubrey St. John, Thunder Rosa, or the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Our touring guests of the year. 
The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Bruce Pritchard. Victoria. Amber O'Neill. And Saraya Knight. Our show of the year. Our finalists. Ricky O says goodbye to the world of wrestling. Transgender superstars in wrestling. The sexist screw up by the New York Athletic Committee. The Exotic Express stops at Camp Crystal Lake. And the two trick phonies don't book the Richards. <clears throat> Number 10, sponsor of the year. Keyport Print Shop. Esposito's Pizza and Pasta. And last year's defending champs, the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore. Mainstream Wrestling Moment of the Year. The Return of Goldberg. New Day Breaks Demolition's Title Reign Record. The Death of China. And Triple H Returns. Screws Rollins and hands Kevin Owens the Universal Championship. There is your finalist for the Dammy Awards. So, who do you think? Who do you think should be the winner here? I'm not really sure myself. But we'll find out when we come back from this commercial break. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hello, ladies. I'm the Big Balboski here, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. <laughs> Wrestling Superstore, selling wrestling memorabilia from all around the world, including WWE, TNA, Japan, Mexico, and the very best of the independents. They've got action figures, DVDs, autographed memorabilia, t-shirts, and more. Plus, stop in and get tickets for great promotions like UWA Elite, CZW, and many others. Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Green Building Booth Number 35 on 90 Wilson Avenue, Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Log on to facebookcom Funkenstein Inc. for more information. This is the War Machine Rhino, the last ever ECW World Heavyweight Champion, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. Keep listening, or you'll get gored in half. WarriorsOfWrestling.com. See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars. Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events, full-length matches, order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events, and an extensive DVD collection featuring past events, compilations, documentaries, and much, much more only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Yo, this is Jazz, a female fighting phenom, coming at you. I'm standing right here, letting you know you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. The bitch is back. And thanks to uh, our sponsors, and thanks to Jazz. Love Jazz. She's awesome. Okay, the Dammy Awards. I think we're ready. I think we're totally, totally ready. Let's see. Let's pull them up. The promotion of the year came down to Warriors of Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Magic, and D2W Wrestling. And 
and the winner for the second straight year, Warriors of Wrestling. Congratulations to Joe Bellini and the entire staff and roster locker room of Warriors of Wrestling. We'll be presenting them with their awards soon. Congratulations again to Joey B and Warriors of Wrestling, the 2016 Dammy recipient of the best wrestling promotion of the year. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Actually, surprised I'm not being messaged by one of these knuckleheads right now. Wanting to know if they won. But, the Wrestling Booking Agent of the Year came down to RDP, ESS, and Real Pro Wrestling. And your winner, again for the second straight year. Oh boy, his head can't get any bigger. We will find out if it's actually possible if it can get larger. Congratulations to Richie D. Gregorio and RDP Promotions, the recipient of the Best Wrestling Promoter slash Booking Agent of 2016 and his second straight Dammy Award. Congratulations. Here we go, moving on. Best Female Indie Wrestler. Our finalists went to Diana Perazzo, Amber O'Neill, Thunder Rosa, and Caitlin Diamond. This was a tight, tight race. A lot of things went into this. Diana Perazzo, who has been on uh, NXT TV, she's been on TNA TV, she's been all over the globe wrestling. Amber O'Neill, who for most of the year was the NWA Women's Champion. Before dropping that title. <coughs> we all know of Thunder Rose has been everywhere. Also part of Lucha Underground is Cobra Moon. And Caitlin Diamond pulling up and finishing strong out of Canada. And uh, doing very well. Uh, we'll see right now who is our Demi Award for 2016 Female Indie Wrestler of the Year. It is... Amber O'Neill, congratulations, squeaking out the win over Diana Perazzo, Thunder Rosa finishing third, Caitlin Diamond fourth, congratulations to Amber O'Neill, the Bullet Babe, winning the Dammy Award for Best Female Independent Wrestler. Moving on, this one was even harder than the female because of the years that these guys had, Joey Janelle had an unbelievable year, not only crashing through uh, trucks and being on fire. He's held multiple titles in multiple companies. James Rude Boy Riley, who was a uh, had two year plus long uh, title reigns for two different companies, and at near the end of the year, one for Warriors of Wrestling, where he lost a match that involved Log- um, uh, Chris Steeler. Uh, Jason Karloff, Darius Carter, uh, and actually saw um, Jason Karloff win and not only take the Warriors of Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship, but the No Limits title as well from Darius Carter. So then to that same weekend, uh, Riley lost his Tier 1 World Heavyweight Championship to Sonny Kiss. Uh, Sonny Kiss eventually, uh, a couple minutes later, lost that title when Darius Carter cashed in his contract for a title shot and walked out the champion. Kyle the Beast Winant, the um, one half, well, for a long time, one half of the tag team champions for GCW, uh, also a constant powerhouse for multiple companies, including On Point um, and um, UWA Elite. And, of course, Darius Carter, the ultimate heel who's had... His name mentioned everywhere he's went. He is, um, you, you can't go anywhere in the state of New Jersey without hearing something about Darius Carter. Um, he, for most of the year, he was the Warriors of Wrestling No Limits Champion. He was involved with the Superstars of Wrestling Live and their title chase. Uh, he's been constantly in the middle of Tier 1 and now currently the Tier 1 World Heavyweight Champion. So, a lot of things happening for a lot of these wrestlers. So, 